Uh-huh. There she is, my birthday girl. It's your day too. Yes, of course it is. It's your day too. No way. I was born on this day, not her. Mm. Mommy. Uh, let's see, let's see. Um, here's the thing. It's Sarah's birthday. She's the birthday girl. But it's your day too because you get to be the sister of the birthday girl. Very good. And when it's my birthday, you get to be my sister. I'm always your sister. That's it. <laughs> Hello, Elaine. Honey. Excuse me. I'm glad you can make it. Grant. I'm sorry. <laughs> you remember Sonny Vincent. He did that wonderful article on you for Fortune. Of course I do. Nice to see you again. Some place. Thank you. You still have the house in L.A.? Oh, yeah. We're back and forth. Well, thank you for the invitation. Grant, why don't you introduce him to Cynthia so he can charm some dirt out of her? Okay, this way. I really like that article you wrote. No, come on, no, Abby, leave me alone. Abby, Abby, what are you doing? Abby, no. why were you pulling a Tommy? I said he could kiss me. You did? And he said no. Oh, I see. Well, you know, you can't force someone. But I want him to. That, my darling, is mine. As a woman. Why don't you go ride the ponies, okay? You gotta feed them before there's bloodshed. I just heard you invited Grant's son. Yes, what could I do? Well, which one is he? I've never met him. Oh, my darling stepson, right over there by the tennis court. Now, how could you hate such a specimen? Oh, I didn't hate him. He hated me. I've taken years of abuse. Now, I hate him. <laughs> Introduce me. I want to see this firsthand. <laughs> Well, there's Daddy's wife. Ross, I'd like you to meet my friend Catherine Thomas. How do you do? It's a pleasure. Any relation to Ed Thomas? Oh, yes, he's my husband. How do you know uh, Ed? I don't know him, but he's on my dad's board. They do a lot of business. Hey, everybody. Oh, we're here. <laughs> we're fine, oh, no, Richard, what did you do this time? No, it's nothing. Hi, Ross. Hey, Uncle Rich. Uh -huh. Hi, Veronica, come on, don't blame me. I mean, this is not even the gift. It's the, it's the helmet for the gift? Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, you didn't. Oh, you, he did. You did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. I tried everything. I yelled, I sulked, I whined. Didn't work. He bought her a motorcycle. Oh, Dirt my. bike. A little dirt <laughs> bike. Well, you never spoiled me like that, Uncle Richard. Oh, yes, we did. Only you were so spoiled, you never noticed. <laughs> hey, where's my brother, anyway? Oh, I just want to go into the house. Yeah? Okay. Get yourselves a drink. Hey, good okay. idea. Come on, sweetheart. See you later. See you all later. Bye. Bye. Uh, Mrs. Saunders, we've got a problem. Oh, well, why not? These gators do not bring the cake. Well, at least a yellow. Yeah, you can have you can wear that. You know what? Hey, you know what? Hey, it's not my fault. Hey, hey, Mrs. Saunders, I'm so sorry. This swine left the cake on the loading dock, and this imbecile at the office. She knows. What do you think I did in town? Yes, her? yes, I know. Thank you, Roberto. Don't worry. If we have to, we'll put some candles on the pate. Yeah. Uh, I'll take care of it. Huh? May I have the number? Huh? The caterer's number. See, the, the number. See, I I had it here. I don't know where I put it here a minute ago. I, I don't know why. Here, here. You always forget you have pockets. Uh, <laughs> I always forget I have pockets. Grant, I need to see you. I told you before. I don't want to say it again. Just talk to me, please. Grant, please. No, not here. Not ever again. Catering. Hello, this is Elaine Sanders. It seems you have a, a birthday cake belonging to my order, which I've been told is sitting on your loading dock. Yeah, I'm very sorry, Miss Sanders, but listen. No, you listen. In 10 minutes, we start singing happy birthday to my daughter. If the cake isn't here, lit and delicious, the party is on you. I think it would be cheaper for you to buy a new truck. Yes, ma'am. Hi, sweetheart. Everything all right? Minor drama in the kitchen.
never saw her before. When did you get it? This morning's mail. Now, uh, look, let's don't go crazy here. We don't know if this is a malicious prank or if it's true. Now, what do you think? What do I think? What kind of stupid question is that? What do I think? I think my husband is having an affair with a 20-year-old slut. Now, you don't know that's true. Oh, yes. Yes, it's true. I heard him on the phone the other day telling someone not to call him at the house. A woman. I didn't put it together until that came. It's true. Now, why would she send the photograph? Blackmail. To break up my marriage. I don't know. I really, I really can't stand this. Honey, honey, I'm so sorry. <laughs> sorry. I feel like he's abandoning me. Come on. First my father. Now Grant. Does that sound too crazy? Henry to criminals a week ago. I can't stand it when things get overgrown. Well, if that's all that's bothering you, let's just get out our clippers. Come on, honey. You gotta deal with this. Decide what you're gonna do. I do? That implies I have some control well, over things. Well, you have control over where it goes from here. No, I don't. I don't have anything. He was always there for me. I was his girl, his baby. Was? Elaine? Come on, she's just a 20-year-old tramp. Yeah, and that's all. A lot of men look for that. A childlike woman, it makes them feel younger. Like they're in control again. I was his baby. It can't be serious between them, for heaven's sakes. Look, before you make any decisions, you've got to find out what this is about. I know what it's about. What? I just don't... I just... I just don't want it to happen. Then tell him. You gotta work this out with Grant. You gotta fight for him. I didn't want this ever to happen. I've been living with it for months. The only relief was that uh, you wouldn't know about it. It was over. It would never happen again. How do I know that? Because I swear to you, What's your name? Adrienne Arness, I think. You think? You think? I told you it was one night. I met her. It just happened. Nothing just happens, Grant. Where did you meet her? That surprise party for Ross. The one you wouldn't go to. She was just another girl. You slept with one of your son's friends. No, 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 no. She wasn't a friend. I don't think Ross even knew her. She was probably a professional. Oh, oh honey. Oh. It meant nothing. No. It was nothing. No, no, it I can't. It was just one night I and can't let over. go of it, Grant. It hurts too much. All the time you need. Grant will give it to you. He adores you. He used to. No, he loves you now more than ever. <laughs> because of the children. No, no, stop it. What is the matter with you, Elaine? Me. Why are you taking this so lightly? I'm not. Listen, this is a very painful thing, and you are entitled to feel anything and everything. But it is an affair, not a nuclear holocaust. It wasn't even a decent affair. It was a one-nighter, for heaven's sakes. Once it doesn't count, it doesn't hurt. It's only a little betrayal, a little rejection. No, but life is full of rejection. You've got to put it in perspective. I'd kill for your marriage. And mine ain't bad. I just can't let it go. Elaine, buy a doll, stick pins in it, but don't blow your marriage. I didn't, he did. Picky, picky, picky. Okay, if you really can't let go of it, have something of your own. Oh, come on. 
I'm serious. He gave you the license. I don't want to have an affair. I want Grant. He's the only thing I ever wanted. You have him. Until the next time. There won't be a next time. He's afraid of losing you. Is he? Go through this again. Thank you for coming. I need you. I'm on my way home, Grant. If I don't hit traffic, I'll be there by nine. We need to put things back together. I nearly made the worst mistake of my life. I'm so worried, lady. I don't want anyone but you. I did make the worst mistake of my life. I almost lost you. This week, I looked around at everything we have. There was nothing. Everything that meant so much to me. Nothing. Lainey, have I ever lost you? No, we're talking. Someday. It'll be like we're not there. I'll just sit at your desk and call her. Now I know why we named her Sarah. This was your finest performance, Miss Bernhardt. Daddy! Well, what do you think? Yes, yes, say yes. I'll be your best friend. Will you run in the halls? I never run. Abby does. Not. i tell you what. If you're ready and in the car in 30 seconds, you can go. Yes! Wait a minute. I need some hugs. Okay. Mm, let's go. Oh. Sweaters. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hot. I never mind. It's hot. You can catch a cold in air conditioning, and then you can go swimming and you cry and whine. Now be good and don't make Daddy crazy. There you go. I don't envy you this day. Piece of cake. I tell you what. Why don't you come to town tonight and uh, we'll go to that place they love? I can't. I'm chairing the library club meeting tonight. I wish I could. All right. I'll see you later. Okay. Uh, where are you going? Okay. So is Madeline, I think. Well, we'll know if she comes back. Oh, Grant, I forgot. I made the girls a 10 o'clock dentist appointment tomorrow in the city. Oh, okay. We'll stay in town. What about dinner? I'll take them out. We'll see you at the house in the morning, huh? Done. I'll miss you. I'll be in by 9 tomorrow. Bye. What do you call a giant ant? Giant. <laughs> Hi, Grant. Hey. hey, I won't bite. These must be your little girl. That's right. Hey. How are you? You guys look so pretty in your dresses. Beautiful. the children. They're in the park with Geraldo. What are those? You tell me. You don't think it's true, do you? Those are my children. That is my husband and that is his hooker. What's not true about that? Lady, whoever's doing this is hoping exactly for this. Because of one night with Adrian, you won't believe the thing I say. Is that what we want? No. No, I want this not to have happened. Well, it did. And that woman apparently doesn't want it to end. It didn't end. Yes, it did. I ended it months ago. I was taking the kids out to dinner last night. We were leaving my office building. This woman comes up and acts as though we're long lost friends, apparently, for the camera. I said goodbye to her, so 
the last I heard from her. After you put the girls to sleep, did you go out again? Yes, I took my usual walk. I was back in the night. No, I have no witnesses. No, I did not go to Adrian's house. No, I did not beat her up. But I have no proof. But I hope that the people who know me will believe me. I believe you. I love you. What does this woman want? Money, probably. Somebody beat her up. Uh, I think that was the setup, too. What if she's crazy? She's not crazy. I have to go and see her. No. Yeah, find out what she wants. No, I'm afraid she'll try to set you up again. She's not going to let go. We could ask someone to look into this for us. Private investigator. No, no, I... I've heard too many horror stories. Got a call on He's a lawyer. What can he do? What about Sonny Vincent? Sonny? Uh, not his field. He's an investigative reporter. This is what he does. He must have sources. I'm gonna call him. All he can say is no. working slaps to it. See a woman eat. How do you feel about fat thighs? You like dumplings? I love dumplings. Cabbage, <laughs> kasha, like my mother never made. Sonny. <laughs> we can feed India with all this. Yeah, sniff this. What do I look like, an octopus? You gotta concentrate. This is serious <laughs> business here. What do you want to drink? Mm -hmm. Beer? Anything. Make their own no, beer. No water, coffee, it doesn't matter. Uh, no serious talk until we finish eating, okay? Keep it. Mm -hmm. A few months ago, Grant met this woman at a party. Her name is Adrian Arness. They had a brief. Yeah. And anyway, um, he wanted to end it, and she didn't. We need to find out about this woman. Just see what she wants. What's he want with this? He has perfection. <laughs> Thank you. Is he still seeing her? No. You believe him? Yes. You believe he didn't do this? Yes, of course I do. Um, look, uh, 
Blaine. This isn't really my bag. I mean, I cover organized crime, honey. You need a, a P.I. Honey, please. Grant's a public figure. We can't take a chance on any of this getting out. No, no, I, I can find someone that's really good for you. Please. Please, Sonny. Okay. I'll look into it. I'll, I'll try to find out what I can about this woman. But, uh, you know, once I look into it, I approach it openly. That includes the possibility that Grant is somehow involved. He isn't. I know that. We talked about Grant. How are you doing with all this? Oh. <laughs> I was angry. I am angry. It's not exactly an ego boost for your husband to have an affair. <laughs> I feel a little used up. Second team. Nothing about you is used up or second team. No, oh boy. I really begged for that. Anyway, what are you going to say? You look a little frayed around the edges. <laughs> I don't see any seams. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Stuff? What are you doing? Come on, come on, come on. I'll give you a couple of tickets to the Bruce Springsteen concert, I promise. Promise? Yeah. Is this the rap sheet? Yeah. Plus it's the soliciting. They should all be this easy. Oh, Sonny. Two. Five, son. Liar. Can't sound fine. Let me get this guy's name. me. I don't know what he means. Hey, come on, come on. What do you want? Friends sent me. Well, yeah, I got a lot of friends. Grant Sanders. Yeah, so what? May I come in? No. What do you want? Actually, I'm an investigative journalist. I'm doing a piece on extortion. I heard you were a piece of extortion. Stick it. Back off. This is between Grant and me. Is this before or after he goes to the police? Look, nobody's going to the police. I never saw her, so I don't know if she was really beaten up or what. But uh, I think she's in over her head. She panicked when I mentioned the police. She doesn't want that any more than you do. I think she'll scare her if you want to go in with muscle. No, no, no. Then she can probably be bought off. She wants to make contact with you. I think the whole thing will go away for the right figure. Sonny, I hope I didn't wake you. Adrian Arnest sent the photographs to the police. Apparently, she's filing battery charges. She's slick. You're down at the station. Yes, they're questioning Grant. Is your lawyer there? Arthur Bridges. Good, I'll be right down.
Establish for us, Mr. Sanders, just how many separate times you made contact with Miss Arness. It was with her once. We spent the night. When we spoke with Miss Arness, she indicated that every time you were with her, that it was your preference that she dress up like a little girl. That the only way you could make love to her was if she looked like a child. Well, she was lying. I was with her once, that's all. She indicated that you... Mr. Sanders has responded. The allegations are untrue. Next. I'm going to get some water. Was it necessary for my wife to hear all this garbage? What happened? Nothing. It was just disgusting. Come on, let's get out of here. I guess I've been fooling myself. It, it never really was anything. But when I heard what she had to say... Adrian? About Grant, what he did with her, just made me crazy. She, she was so young. I mean, it's like, I don't know, it's like that's what he really wants. No, 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 no. come on. My father walked out on me when I was five years old. Remarried, had a new baby. And, and I always thought that it was uh, because I wasn't cute anymore. The new baby was cute. I don't know why I'm telling you this. Grant isn't your father, Elaine. I know the drill. I've been through therapy. Forget it. I guess it just felt like Grant had replaced me. Someone else was his little girl. Little girls. Little girls. I don't get it. You take little girls to the zoo. You take women to bed. Keep a low profile, Grant. Let me worry. DA has no stomach for this. We'll get rid of it. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Sonny. baby. He'd love to see you after that picture you sent to the papers. I didn't. You're right. No, I didn't. This whole thing has gone too far. I'll, I'll tell Grant everything. I just want $50,000 in small bills. Uh, so now we got a price, huh? I have some information I'll want. How much is it going to be for the next piece of information? Please. You have no reason to believe me, but you have to. After I get the $50,000, i am gone. The DA won't have anyone to testify against Grant. Tell him that. You have no reason to, but you have to. After I get the 50,000, I'm gone. The DA won't have anyone to testify against Grant. Tell him that. What do you think? Hey, my record's not so good at calling this one's moves. Pretty scared. Yep, that's what it looks like. Is that tape admissible? She didn't know I was recording. No way. Arthur says the DA's office is being sticky about the charges. The DA's got to do his dance. Without her testimony, what have they got? Bupkis, nothing. If she disappears, so does the case. What do you think? Not me. Whatever you two decide, I'll pass it on. You run a heavy risk here. If she's straight, she's gone, so is your money. If not, you got bribery on top of everything else. Bribery? What about extortion? The tape isn't admissible. It's just my testimony. It's a jury issue. If they believe that she set Grant up and tried to put the squeeze on him, fine. If not, we're back where we started. You talk, huh? I'll go make a call. I'm not going to pretend I, I don't wish this weren't happening. I know. 
I've got to make it go away. If I let it drag on, it does damage to you, the kids, the business. I'm going to do it, Laney. I'm going to go see her. We'll spend the night here. I'll go to the bank in the morning. Baby, she's got the money. She's going to refuse to testify. I'll get it. Who is it? The police. Mr. Sanders? Yes? What's going on? I have a warrant for your arrest, sir. Adrian Arness was murdered last night. Just what the hell do you think you've got? I'll tell you what I've got. I've got assault with intent, and I got murder one. I got motive, opportunity. I place your client at the scene prior to the murder. I got a cufflink, which I bet your fee, Arthur, belongs to your client. I got his prints all over the apartment. And, and what you don't have is the money which my client admits to taking to the woman and leaving at her apartment. Where did it go? It went with the person who smashed that girl's skull. And that is not Grant Sanders. We'll see what the grand jury says. I can't be in the jury room with you, but I'll be right out here. So if he asks you any questions which you're unsure of, ask for a minute to consult with counsel. Oh, here's the card. Now, if you decide to invoke the fifth, I want you to read from the card. I don't want any screw-ups. I'm not concerned, Arthur. All I want to do is tell my story. My worst nightmare. An unconcerned client. I gave her the money, and I left. So that would put the time that you left at uh, 9.15 or 9.20? Yes. The coroner places the time of death at between 9 and 11 p.m. Mr. Sanders, you say that you returned home at about 10? Uh, approximately. I don't know exactly. All right. Mr. Sanders, is this yours? I do not know how these cufflinks got into her apartment. Cuff link, Mr. Sanders. You see, we only found this one. But you do admit it's yours. I mean, it even has your initials there. Well, it resembles a pair I had once. I don't even think I have them anymore. But I did not wear them either time I went to her apartment. Elaine. Sit down or go out and get a cup of coffee. Oh, I've never been very good at waiting. Why won't they allow you in there? Because it's not a trial. It's the DA's show. He's got to prove to the grand jury that he's got enough for an indictment. Does he? Could go either way. It's a circumstantial case. We never found the $50,000 in $20 bills that you claim to have bought to her apartment, Mr. Sanders. No, we only found one $20 bill crumpled in the victim's hand. 
Did you and Adrian Arnest quarrel over money? No. Did you become violent with her? No. When she was struck in the head with that metal flashlight and fell on the floor dead, did you leave taking the money with you, Mr. Sanders? No. You told us earlier that you're not a violent man, Mr. Sanders. But prior to her death, Adrian Arnest filed a formal complaint against you for battery. She was lying. You never beat Adrian Arnest? I never beat anyone. You didn't do this to her? No. She was blackmailing you? Yes. And you were willing to pay her $50,000 to prevent her from testifying against you? To prevent her from lying about me. Well, one wonders, Mr. Sanders, what you might have done to eliminate the problem altogether. Look, all this publicity was wreaking havoc on my life, both professionally and personally. My wife and my children were made to suffer for something stupid that I did. I couldn't stand it. If she'd have asked me for more money, I would have paid it. It's only money. But I could never have done anything to harm her. I did not harm her. She was alive when I left her apartment. Ladies and gentlemen, I have only two more witnesses. For the sake of time, I'd like to call them both in. Mrs. Grant Sanders and Mr. Ross Sanders. He left the house with the overnight bag at about 8.30. He came home without it. And what time was that? Five after 10. How do you know? I was very nervous about his going in the first place. I didn't trust this woman, so I kept watching the clock. I just looked at it when I heard him come in. Mrs. Sanders, does uh, Mr. Sanders have a temper? Everybody has a temper. Does he lose his? No, he really doesn't. I always know when he's angry because he gets very quiet and controlled. Has he ever hit your children? No, never. Has he ever hit you? Never. I've never seen him raise a hand to anyone. He's just not that kind of man. Thank you, Mrs. Sanders. Ross Sanders. How's it look? Can't tell. Grant said he felt pretty good after his testimony. I wish they'd called me. I could have told them about the phone call with Adrian. Why would they call you? You're not going to help their case. You're going to help ours, if we need you. Mr. Sanders, how are you related to Grant Sanders? I'm his son, by his first wife. And how old were you when he and your mother separated? Oh, I was grown. Uh, I was in my 20s. Then you and the present Mrs. Sanders are about the same age. About. Then before uh, he and your mother were separated, uh, would you say you lived in a relatively normal household? Relatively. Did you and your father have a good relationship? Well, sometimes. When he wasn't breaking my arms and legs. How did your father do that, Ross? Well, he broke my arm when I was seven. He uh, was having one of his tempers. So he, he twisted my arm and it broke. I don't, I don't think he really meant to. He was just in a rage. Now, Elaine Sanders has told us that he didn't have a violent temper. Well, maybe he likes her better than he liked me. Now, after your father broke your arm, Ross, what did he do? He took me to the hospital. And what did he tell the doctors had happened to you? He told them that I'd slipped at the pool. Was there any other incident? Yes, he broke my leg, my left leg. How? He kicked me, and I fell down the steps, and he told the doctors that I'd slipped on a skateboard. You did, Ross! Sit down, Mr. Sanders. I said sit down. I have here the x-rays of both the broken arm and the broken leg. Plus, medical reports indicating that on both occasions, the father told the attending physician that his son injured himself 
in a fall. Son of a bitch. You've been waiting all this time to get to your father for marrying me, for not letting you near the business, you lying little pig. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey. Good luck, Artie. We're standing outside of Grant Sanders' Montecito Ranch. The publishing magnate was today indicted on murder charges. Sanders, who is currently free on $250,000 bail, has so far not appeared to comment on his alleged involvement in the murder of model Adrian Arness. Ross to lie like that, under oath. Under oath. What does that mean to him? He's always been jealous of you and me. He had reason to be. We shunted aside. I never gave him the attention he deserved. Stop feeling guilty. Plenty of children have busy fathers, but they... What's the point? I have to call him. No. Arthur said no. He's a witness for them. I don't care. He's my son. Your son. Can't you believe it is possible for him to hate you? Lady. This afternoon... When I lifted Abby into the air, you flinched. What? Yes, you were frightened. Don't be silly. I was afraid she was going to bump her head. What Ross said is not true. I know that. I never touched him. Now, we have to be sure of that. I'm sure. I'm sure, Grant. You're angry. Of course I'm angry. Lady, I can stand a lot of heat. I always have. But I don't think I have the equipment to stand us falling apart. So I, uh, I want you to go into town for a few days. No. No, Grant, I'm not leaving you. Yes, you go into town, to the house, uh, you see a few friends. No. Please. It'll do us both good. I'll have, uh, Geraldo take you out the back route. The press won't be watching the L.A. house. They know I'm here. Please. town we were at each other. He's trying so hard to be optimistic, but the damn press have been so vicious. I know. Even our friends are affected by Ross's stories. You don't start getting yourself all paranoid here. Paranoid? Accused by his own son of abuse. Grant Sanders, S&M takes on new meaning. Oh. Sex and murder. Laney. Laney? what Grant always called me. Calls me. God, listen to what I just said. Always called me. I'm thinking like it's over. I don't believe it. Now you gotta stop making yourself crazy. You gotta stop watching yourself. Or you will make yourself completely crazy. <laughs> I am. You're tired? No. Everything's falling apart. Sometimes I look at him and... What? I almost hate him. I didn't mean that. You know, what you're feeling is completely normal. I... You just gotta get away from all this pressure, Elaine. I'm sorry. <laughs> Elaine. You know, I gotta find a pet name for you that's not already taken. Elaine, that's a tough one. Well, what am I gonna do here? I gotta find a name for it. You know, my block, nobody got called with her name unless you were mad or something, you know, and I'm not mad. I know, I'll call you mouth. <sighs> or, uh, eyes. Mouth. Mouth. It's mouth.
No. Don't push it away. I have to go. I know. Just don't take anything away from what we had. Let it be. Even if we never have it again. Let this time be for what it was. So far, it's perfect. I'll convict him. Not because the case is good. It's all circumstantial. <laughs> but the DA wants to get him. Grant's a very, very rich man. The public, mm. the press, they love to see them fall. Mm. I can relate to that. Mm -hmm. I'm not seeing you. Not being able to talk to you. Bad, you know. Hmm. You just hang in there. When we can meet, we will. I can't believe you're here. Oh, I can't believe we got here. For the first time that we had drinks. <laughs> 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 Thank you for coming. I need you. To Daddy's wife. Well, you can just imagine my surprise when Mommy Dearest asked me to have a drink. I thought, well, maybe a little surprise party for Daddy, huh? Maybe, uh, maybe Mommy... Pull in the artillery, Ross. At least until we've had a chance to talk. This photograph came to my house with a note written on it. You don't have to read it. You already know what it says. You took the picture and you sent the note. As soon as Grant told me where he met her, I knew it was you. I invited you here to thank you. It doesn't matter who set Grant up with this bimbo. He bit. He slept with her. And I never would have known about it if it weren't for you. All I want to say is, is that I hate him. Everything I ever felt for him was gone the minute I saw that picture. I probably hate him as much as you do. And that hate has given us a mutual interest. It wasn't me. You always blamed me. It was disgusting seeing you with him. You were right for me, not him. I'm sorry. I was surprised to see how cold he was to you. Why well, I never wanted you near the business. <laughs> he said I didn't have the publishing touch. That's bull. You can give a damn about me. I know what that feels like. Thrown away. He threw me away. Elaine, hey, you okay, huh? He shouldn't have done that. Not when somebody 
loved you. Loved you. I don't like that. I just can't take it. I don't think you can either. I don't think we have to. Just listen to me. Don't respond until I'm finished. I've given this a lot of thought. Get Grant's little Adrian on the phone. Tell her there's big bucks in it for setting him up. As he's leaving the office, she meets him. You photograph them together. Then you take some shots of her beaten to a pulp. You know, makeup and everything. <laughs> Then you send the pictures to me. I take it from there. He won't go to the police. He can't afford to. It was going so smooth. Why did the bitch call Sonny? Because she panicked and we sent the photographs to the police. But I calmed her down. I told her that you sent the photographs to the police to put the screws into Grant. And I caught someone to save the police. See? So you're not the only one with the brains in this team. Cut to the chase. <laughs> okay. So then... I went up to San Francisco. Checked into the hotel. Made myself visible that afternoon. Then I went out and bought that old clunker for cash. Drove it down from San Francisco. Waited around the corner from her apartment until I saw Grant pull up. 20 minutes later, he came out without the money. I was right behind him. that she told Grant everything, but she didn't. I guess when she saw that he brought the money, she just wanted out. Wouldn't have mattered if she did tell him. Once they found her body, who would have believed him? You know, sometimes you really scare me. Good. It'll keep you in line. <laughs> Boy, that 50,000 was tempting. Penny Annie, when Grant's convicted, I'll end up with half of everything. It's more than we can spend in both our lifetimes. And I have plans for that 50,000. 49,980. Don't forget about that 20 I crumpled up in Adrian's fist. <laughs> I'll take it out and trade. Your testimony for the grand jury was the best. How did you break your bones? Slipped. Both times? Guess I'm a klutz. Not in bed. She didn't have to leave. Sin. I can't get enough of you. Ross, come on. Are you kidding? I'm exhausted. Guess you've forgotten what it's like to be with a younger man, huh? No. Come on, think about him. This whole thing's gonna be over real soon. Yeah. Oh, do you have that other cup link? Yeah. About Sonny, he served his purpose. I think we should lose him. Besides, he's getting too interested in you. No, he can still be useful. How? Adrian's dead. We don't need a go-between. He's our witness. I want him to cover the trial. I can't control the press. At least he can feed them what I want. He's too close. This whole thing can backfire. He's staying, Ross. I've gotten us this far. Haven't I? Haven't I? And just let me call the rest of the shots.
Well, the house is still standing. Oh, hi. And I bought you a goodie from your meals. Well, I haven't had a good cup of coffee since you left. <laughs> and what did you do with yourself? Well, I just noodled around. Did you go over your testimony with Arthur? No, no, no. Not with Arthur. He's in court. They're picking the jury. I went over it with myself. Let's not hold up in the house tonight. Why don't we go to the club for dinner? You sure you can face that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, let's see that surprise from a meal. Ah, oh, we'll have it. Later. We better call Catherine and Ed. Don't want to face this alone. Mm. No. That was Elaine. They knew we'd be here. They want to join us for dinner. I said yes. Uh, I'm going to beg off. How are you? Sam's still nursing my cold. Yeah, actually, I am. <clears throat> What's going on, Ed? Oh. Nothing. You know how I feel about them, right? Grant. Timing is bad. What do you mean? We're going to have some problems with Grant's company. Now, any other night I'd be there, but not tonight. Yeah. It's going to hit the fan tomorrow, and if I see him tonight, I'm going to have to tell him that I can't. I'm going to avoid Grant until the business decisions are out of the way. Okay, I the board of directors are all over me. I don't have the luxury of clear-cut responses. And you do. You go to dinner. How's it going? Who knows? Yeah, well, hang in. Will do. I'll call you soon. Any more back padding? Gonna need a osteopath. They're just embarrassed, darling. They don't know what to say. I guess. Dad have a fever? Oh, he's a mess. He did yesterday. Well, uh, I may stop by tomorrow. How long was the meeting? I lost track. Three hours, four. He went back and forth, round and around. Brad should have found a way to tell me. How could he, Grant? His people wanted it this way. It's not personal. But it's to me. Well, Ed can't help himself. He doesn't control the board. So much for his flu yesterday. Well, he didn't want to have to lie to you last night if you mentioned the business. Ed is so imaginative. He's got two options. Lie or don't show up. Hey, Ed fought like hell at that meeting. We both did. But they're not wrong. Ross's testimony hurt us. If Grant doesn't step down, we could lose a lot. 20% of our business is in the children's book area. We're getting a lot of heat. Can they do that? Can they force Grant to resign? Forcing? No. We control the majority shares. But. But it's our company. I'm not going to do anything to jeopardize it. Tell them I'm out. I'll announce tomorrow. Smile, Daddy. Yes, baby. Here we go. Mommy says we're not going to camp. Uh -huh. Good. I don't want to go to camp. I want to stay here. Give me, give me what you got. Bacon eggs and make them hot. Do it quick, there's more to come. I see soda's bubble gum. Give me, give me what you got. Right here, Okay, which one of you girls wants to show Uncle Richard and me what a great diver you are? Yeah. Me? I can do a backward somersault. <laughs> okay, let's go. I want to see that. <laughs> Darling, I've been wondering if it wouldn't be a good idea to send the girls to my mother's. Just until the trial's over. Why? But I'm afraid of someone saying something. At least at Mother's, there won't be so much talk. Mm -hmm. I know how you feel. The girls are such a wonderful distraction for you. 
They kept me going. I know. But is it fair to them? No, it's not. Call your mother. Lainey? Look at that face. Where did my little girl go? You threw her away. Officer, you say you found one $20 bill from the 50000 that Mr. Sanders... Objection. Sustained. You found a $20 bill? Yes, crumpled in her hand. Was it clearly visible? No, we didn't discover it until the body was being moved. So it would strike that. From where the deceased fell, where was her hand? Under her. Under her. So her assailant might not have noticed that one of the bills was in her hand. Objection. There's been no showing that the $20 came from the money my client brought. I withdraw. Ridiculous. Week after week, waiting for the next day to come so I can see you in court. It keeps me going, just knowing you're there. Well, it's not enough for me. It's probably nice when Grant goes over the country. I want you with me. I want you too. And what's it going to be? Sonny, I can't leave him. Not if he's convicted. Elaine, the man took your marriage and he dragged it right to the mud. What did I do? Well, you didn't go out looking for... It just happened. You having second thoughts? About you? No. No. Well, then what is it? Guilt? I don't know. Look, um, Elaine, I don't want to push you into anything here. You're not. I want to be with you. Don't you understand? No. I mean, you tell me you want to be with me, then you tell me you can't leave if he's convicted. Why? If he were acquitted, you could. Yes. And then you see, it would be like leaving him the way he was. He'd be free, and so would I. The man did this to himself. Why do you have to go all the way down with him? Because whatever else he did, I know he's innocent of murder. And if he goes to prison, I can't leave him. I can't deprive him of the only things he'd have left in his life. I guess I'll just have to keep him out of jail. Don't joke about it, Sonny. Maybe I'm not joking. I want to be with you, but I can't. If he goes to prison, I can't leave him. Sonny, it's not like these files are for your eyes only. Now, will you get the hell out of here? Yeah, yeah. Now. Right. What are you looking for? I don't know. You're not using these files to squeeze up a story. Don't bust my chops. I got my own sleazy story to worry about. I'm looking for an angle. Oh, you're an murderer. <laughs> Forget it, pal. Yeah, right. Grant Sanders is one of the sexy defendant. What do you got in the sun? He was in San Francisco at the time of the murder. We checked it. It's solid, so forget it. The state's got the body, the motive, the opportunity, a, a cuff link, fingerprints, and the son's testimony. So what do you got? Fuck, there's nothing. There's something else you don't got. What? My files. Give me. It's on fire.
Okay, let's assume that Grant is framed. The obvious suspect is Ross. Hates his father, testifies against him. He's jealous of his young wife. The police went over all that. They cleared Ross. He was in San Francisco the night of the murder. I know all that. Couldn't be Ross. Why not? Because he's a pest, not a killer. Besides, it'd spoil his manicure. Okay, not Ross. Then who? We're looking for someone who took those photographs, someone who knew Adrian Arnes and that she was intimately involved with Grant. I don't know. Did Grant tell you how he met Adrian? Yes, at a party. Ross's birthday party. Ross's birthday party? And nobody thinks there's a connection? Of course. The police thought so at the time. But they've been through all this with Ross. I haven't been all through this with Ross. I could say that I'd like to help you clear my father, but frankly, I don't give a damn. How much did you give to have your girlfriend set your father on? Girlfriend? I didn't even know the girl. She was some number working the party. My father hit on her before I even had a chance to make a move. Now, your father cut you out of a lot of things. Family business, women. Look, Mr. Vincent, you don't have to dig to find out that I hate my father, okay? I'll tell you. He was a cold, selfish bastard. And when he wasn't out making his fortune, he was at home abusing my mother and me. Now, the ink wasn't dry in the divorce papers when he married his little princess. That cold, selfish bastard set you up so well, you never have to work another day in your life. I understand you don't. I'm into a few things. Look, son, I'm real happy that you want to help Grant and Elaine out. Okay, but you're not going to find your acquittal here. You see, I was in San Francisco at the time of the murder. I have witnesses. The police checked it out. I told the truth about my father beating me, whether you like it or not. And when I get up on that stand, I'm going to tell it again. Listen, punk. There's someone about you that makes me want to bust you. You better make sure you're not involved. attitude problem. He'd probably say the same thing about you. Yeah, well, call him off. Relax. Don't tell me to relax. I don't want him poking around. I'm not crazy about it either, but I can't call him off cold. He's no fool. Look, Ross, the police did the same song and dance and came up empty. Let Sonny think what he wants. He can't prove anything. I, I don't want it. I don't want it. Relax. Calm down. I'm calm. I'm calm. I don't want it. Ross! Honey, I know how hard this is on you, but it'll be over soon. It's time to send in the money and the cuffling. It'll be taken care of tomorrow. Don't worry. Arthur, what's going on? The DA got a warrant to search the property. I don't understand. He received a tip from an informant that the money that Grant gave to the dead girl was hidden here. It's crazy. I hope it's crazy. The fact that they didn't have the money was useful for us. It supports our contention that someone went to the girl's apartment after Grant left, killed the girl, and took the money.
why didn't they find the cufflink? I don't know. I put it in the flight bag. Maybe it fell out. You know, I don't like that it wasn't found. Relax. We don't need it. The money's enough. How do you know? Ross, I said the money's enough. Please leave a message at the sound of the beep. Thank you. I kept thinking that something would come along, that the nightmare would be over. But it isn't. It just keeps getting worse. I'm afraid that Grant might go to prison. Okay. Elaine. There was a time I thought Grant was guilty. I did. I thought you were deluding yourself. I figured he got himself in trouble with his babe. She starts to blackmail him, so he finds a way to get rid of it. I mean, who would believe Grant Sanders would get his hands dirty? But now, I'm sure he was set up. Ross? I just can't see it. It seems too... Obvious. I know. That's why I dismissed it at first. But sometimes it's obvious for a reason. Look. The police couldn't connect Ross to the time of death. So they dropped him as a suspect, but that doesn't mean there isn't something there. He was in Frisco. The hotel confirms his reservation, his check-in on Thursday, and his check-out on Saturday. The airline confirms his flight up to the bay on Thursday and his return on Saturday. And the police checked the passenger list. Even if they could do that effectively, nobody with an agenda relies on public transportation. He could have driven down to Los Angeles. Say, Friday afternoon, killed Adrian between 10 and 11, been back in Frisco early the next morning. And what? If he'd rented a car, the police would have found it. Not if he bought a used car under an assumed name. They'd never find it unless they were looking. That, that sounds too far-fetched. I don't think so. If I could get into his apartment for a few hours, Even I... Even if you found something, it wouldn't be admissible, would it? Not if I got it without a warrant. But that's not how I'd do it. When Ross moved into his new place, Grant asked me to send my decorator over to help him. She gave me the key when she finished. I still have it. JJ, I've been a reliable source for you before. I have reason to believe the relevant evidence regarding the Arnett's murder exists at this apartment. So? So? Give me one of your men with a warrant to search. If I come up dry, your source stank. If not, you'll owe me a couple of tickets. Come with me. Back in that Uh, yeah, third drawer over. Pink slip to a 76 Corolla registered to your Walden. I bet he paid cash for it. Driver's license in the same name. Diameter read 65,480 miles. I bet when we find this car, it'll have 900 miles added to it. San Francisco, L.A., and back. Yeah, here it is. Here it is. The only statement I will make at this time is that my client is totally innocent of all charges against him. Yes, sir. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> 
What are you doing, Elaine? Ross, George is in here. No, he isn't. Let's... Oh. Could you be so stupid to leave evidence around? I didn't. That apartment was clean. I cleaned it myself. The only thing I was worrying about was an envelope that was missing. I called you. Oh. I called you. And there was no answer at either number. The police found it and took it. Oh, no, baby. No, you found it. You found it and you planted it so that Sonny would find it. Are you out of yes. Are you out of your mind? Yeah, I was, wasn't I? I was a real easy mark. I hated Grant so much, I let you manipulate me into everything. Stop worrying. They'll never convict you. It's all circumstantial. You just have to keep your mouth shut. You are going down with me, Elaine. <sighs> no. No, I'm not going anywhere with you. You started all this in the first place. You set Grant up with that slut. You sent me that photograph. You tried to take Grant away from me. You hate Grant. Hate him? He cheated on you. That's right. And he was punished for it. Nearly lost everything for one night. With that tramp. He won't do that again. I love Grant. Did you think I'd ever let him go for a cheap imitation? Hey, I am not doing this alone, Elaine. This was your idea. You're in this as deep as I am. How? No one's ever seen us together. You took those pictures. You rented that car. You killed that girl. You think anyone would ever believe that I was involved, that I would even talk to you? Everyone knows how much I hate you. And what about Sonny? Sonny was necessary. He was the reporter, the witness. So then you used him too, huh? Just fed him everything? Told him how much you hated me? How much you loved Grant? told him about us? He didn't believe me. So I guess he had to hear it for himself. Oh! Oh! Why? Why'd you do it? What did you want? What did you need? You had everything. You didn't want me. You didn't want him. It wasn't the money. What the hell did you do it for? For granted me. You destroy a man's life because you want to be secure. Because you want to bring him to his knees. I had to be sure. You got what you wanted. You wanted me. It was good, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, it was good. We all got what we wanted. Grant was punished for what he did. His friends left him his business. His son. Only I was there. Only I loved him. What about your husband? What, what if he had been convicted, gone to jail? What about your children? I'd never let anything hurt my children. I'd tell them that their father was falsely accused of something Ross did. I'd never let Grant go to jail. It was never designed to go that far. What? Well,
Ross was the one who started all this. It was Ross. I, I never let Grant go to jail. He held my hand when he walked me to school. Grant didn't kill Adrian. Ross did. Everything's gonna be all right. I'm wearing a wire. It's conspiracy. You're as guilty as he is. But that's not admissible. You already told me. It doesn't make any difference whether we can nail you or not. You're finished. You can't prove anything. I don't have to. I don't even want to. I play the tape for a few choice people just to prove it exists. And it destroys you, the way you destroyed Grant. Out of love. 